This is the basically a floor broom that I use to uh, sweep off the uh, and clean the solar panels. A little hard to see here in the sun, but anyway, it's very soft bristles as opposed to this one over here, which is much coarser bristles. I like this one better. I think it was probably safer on the glass. I did wash it out real good before I used it to make sure there was no sand in it. This extendable pole, this one's called Mr. Longarm. I don't remember where I got it from, but uh, probably a building supply or a northern tool or something like that. So just wanted to show you the tools I used to do this. We're located in Six Mile, South Carolina. Just wanted to show you the amount of pollen on these panels. It's pretty incredible. That's April 2020. Uh, you'd think it'd make a big difference in energy production. But after cleaning, it surprisingly doesn't make as much difference as you might think. I'm just wetting the panels down real good and running this up and down a bunch of times without any soap or detergent or anything. It seems to be working. But uh, this is a job, to say the least. So what I'll do is get across the top uh, row of panels, well, it's at the longest extension, and then shorten it. So after I've done that, I have wetted it down first and rinse it off. We'll see how that works. You look carefully. You can see I've, on the second row down, I cleaned the first two panels here. You can see the difference there between one, two, the third one over, and so forth. Makes a difference. Hasn't used a strong detergent on this. This brush does seem to work. There's a lot of pollen on there. I can't remember it being this bad last year or the year before when we first put the system in. Now I'll hose those two off I just did. Looks like I need to work a little bit more on, on them, but it takes time, but it does work. One thing, one thing I have to be careful of, you got fire ant now. For some reason, fire ants, we have a problem with them around here anyway, but they seem to like to build right around these solar panels for some reason. Second row done. Not perfect, but I got 99% of it, I think. But you can see how much pollen is still left on this first row. And then here's that. Then I will shorten my pole down to the shortest spot. Much easier to handle. Okay, I finished them. It took me 39 minutes. Knowing what I know now, we've got all this room out here in this pasture. I would have had them just build one row of panels, uh, and, you know, unless it costs a fortune more. It'd be worth it from the standpoint of trying to keep them clean and maintenance. This is our Fronius uh, data analysis software for the solar inverter. It's an 11.4 kilowatt inverter on our so ground mount solar panels that we just looked at uh, while I was cleaning them. I cleaned them on Monday, April 6th about 3.59 in the uh, afternoon to four of something. And uh, it was a partly cloudy day, clouds going back and forth across the sun, uh, cooling it with the water spraying on it gent tend to, tends to generally help the power production. Um, the, uh, but you can't, this is just the power kilowatts produced during the day. So this really doesn't tell you much. Now if we go to the month here, okay, this is our kilowatt hours or energy production for each day of, of April so far, April 2, 2020. This was the day that I uh, cleaned them. If you look over to the left, so it's 50.68 kilowatt hours was, was the, uh, what we had. That's the area under the curve for that day. Next day, even though I cleaned them, it was lower, but that doesn't tell you anything because it's probably cloudier. Uh, could have been, and then it went up. This day looked pretty good, 76.81 kilowatt hours. 
uh, on the 10th. That is actually yesterday. I'm recording this on the 11th. And you say, okay, well, I must have done real well. But if you go back in year to, uh, let's say, to 2019 for April, if you look over here on the left, this it goes away when I move the cursor over there. But um, if you ask, actually, let's click on April. That's for the whole year. Okay, took a minute to load. I'm back on April 6th of 2019. We were at, uh, uh, if you look over to the left, 64.63 kilowatt hours for that day. But there were other days it was up in the range of what we measured yesterday, which was a particularly outstanding, clear, cool day. So, um, it probably makes a little bit of difference, but it doesn't make a gigantic difference uh, to get the pollen off. Uh, actually surprised me. I noticed that when we first put it in February 2018, um, there's a lot of pollen. I cleaned it off. I really couldn't see the difference. So there is probably a slight difference, but it's not huge like you might expect. So... Um, just don't expect a huge difference, you know, after you clean them. But I think it is the right thing to do. You just have to be careful that you don't damage your panels. I was hesitant to use any kind of detergent or soap, so I just used water and just that soft bristle brush. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.